the planet Venus, Earth's nearest neighbour, sharing similarities in size and age. But they also have massive differences in their atmosphere, with Venus harbouring a toxic mix of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid and temperatures topping 477 degrees Celsius. The latest images sent back from the Venus Express probe orbiting space shed new light on the planet's atmosphere. The spacecraft has uh, ten different instruments on it. Some of them are cameras and some of them do other kinds of measurements, magnetic fields for example. And each of those came from a different laboratory around Europe and, and uh, the camera type instruments, the optical instruments as we call them, uh, work at a range of different wavelengths. So for these new findings that we're talking about today, we combined results from two different instruments. One of those works in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum, which is shorter than visible light, and the other one in the infrared spectrum, which is longer than visible light. So those are both wavelengths that the human eye is not sensitive to, but the instruments are. Observations show numerous high contrast features of bright and dark zones caused by an unknown chemical in the atmosphere possibly related to the huge quantities of sulfur emitted by the volcanoes on Venus. The images also reveal details of the complex meteorological behaviour. These markings that look sort of dim and fuzzy through telescopes, once you get up close and look, we can see all sorts of sharp detail. So we can see uh, weather systems, for example, in the atmosphere. And the uh, structure at the pole that you mentioned is, is, is like an enormous hurricane. Uh, about 2,000 miles across, which sits permanently over the North Pole and the same thing over the South Pole. And uh, it's a large mass of swirling air descending in the middle, to, to rather like a hurricane, except that it, it's permanent. It stays there all the time. So we've been trying to understand what created that. And then at lower latitudes, more towards the equator, there are all the uh, markings change and they become long and streaky and there are high winds circulating around the planet. And again, uh, we don't have an equivalent of that on the Earth. We're trying to understand why an Earth-like planet like Venus should have this kind of behavior that we don't have on the Earth. Venus is a planet that has experienced runaway global warming. Scientists hope the latest findings will provide clues as to how this got out of control and use the research to understand how our own climate is changing. We're trying very hard to understand the basic science of the way atmospheres behave. It's really important for the Earth. Um, I mean, the traditional application, of course, is weather forecasting, but nowadays we have even more serious problems because the whole climate is changing. So we need to understand the physics of, of the Earth's atmosphere. And, of course, Venus's atmosphere is no different from the Earth's in terms of the physics that's controlling it. So by looking at another example, we're getting some really interesting insights on how Earth-like atmospheres behave. And one of the things we're trying to do, of course, for the Earth is think about the future. You know, when the Earth's atmosphere will not be the way it is now, it'll be actually be more like Venus because we're moving in that direction. Very slowly, we've got a long way to go before Earth is, is as bad as Venus in terms of climate change. But we're heading in the same direction and for the same kinds of reasons. For Professor Taylor, the probe provides a coming of age for European astronomy. British scientists play key roles in the Venus Express project and will spend up to five years analysing the images to learn more about Venus and its clues to the future of planet Earth.